you are at the nexus, if you will, of the 49er Green Bay Packer uh, old school part of the old school years. Yeah. What is this? What does this rivalry mean? What it did? What you did know it what? Mean it, when you were it, there? You know, the Niners Packers have played eight times now in the playoff. I was involved in four of those, mm-hmm. and uh, with both teams. And so it's it is big, and there's always connections between the two staffs and the two teams. And my first time was when I was coaching in '95. With the Packers came to came to Candlestick and played against Steve Young and Jerry Rice. And and uh, it's it's when we started turning the corner in Green Bay and came out with a win here in Candlestick. The weird thing about that is I had just accepted the job at Cal, the head coaching job at Cal. Right. But I chose to stay with the Packers throughout the playoffs. Okay, which was a little strange. Usually guys bolt and they take off to their new job. So I <clears throat> stayed. And had a recruiting weekend after that game, and then went back to the team. And then we ended up playing Michael Irvin and and Deion Sanders and the boys over there in Dallas for the championship game. And then it wasn't until that game was over with and they won, mm-hmm. and I came to Cal and started trying to get that program going. So, uh, what's your favorite memory of the of when you were involved in the rivalry? Give me the is it uh, is well, it the Owens uh, game is that the one that famed one? Well, no? the next game, the ne- when I was the head coach of the Niners and we were the number one seed and they were number two, we, were, we played each other in the NFC Championship game. And El Nino, we have an El Nino going on right now here in Northern California, raining like a son of a gun. Anyway, it, it was uh, raining that week, that game, and uh, you know they they beat us, they beat us. Mm-hmm. They were the defending Super Bowl champs, and Favre was the three time reigning MVP and all that stuff, and they beat us. Um, and then the next year we play again. Here we go again, and it's the To catch game, and we fought, we got them. You know, we got them in in that game. That was a great memory. That place went wild, and uh, it was uh, it's not a revenge game. It was just two good teams button up against each other again. And um, now remember, <laughs> I remember after that game, it was kind of a nice win and everything. Um, I was in the locker room. You know, after the press conferences, Rich, and, and uh, in, in old candlestick, it's not mm-hmm. even there anymore, uh, there was a locker room for the players, a locker room for the assistant coaches, and a locker room for the head coach. I had my own locker room. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> and uh, so I'm just going to jump in the shower and get ready to go home, and here comes somebody through my door. It's Favre. He comes in my <laughs> – he came right in our locker room. Right. I guess when you're the three-time MVP, you can, you can go any, any, anywhere you want. And and uh, the first thing he said to me, and, you know, I thought he was going to say, like, hey, good game or something. He looked at me, and I was <laughs> I was sitting there getting ready to jump in the showers in my tidy whities And um, <laughs> he goes, Mooch, you're getting fat. Get out of here. And uh, so that's the kind of relationship I had with him. And, uh, and you know, he was congratulating the team and everything like that because he could. And uh, so there was some real fond memories of that game. And then later, a couple years later, we went we went back up to Green Bay in the frozen tundra and played in the snow game in the in the darn playoffs. So there's a big rivalry there, and it's hasn't changed. Here we go again. And here I thought the, the best Mooch Favre uh, post-Packer uh, story in a locker room was – us at NFL Network sending you down to the locker room after a Thursday night game to get Favre to show up on our post-game uh-huh. show set. And we're, guys, we were tap dancing segment after segment after segment waiting for Mooch to come out. And where were you the entire time, Steve? We were eating him? pizza. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> you were in, yeah, like, the trainer's room, right? You want to do it. He said, you want to eat? I go, Yeah. And so, <laughs> how about the time we were waiting? Where was it? New England? He was with the Jets. Well, he was, was doing was, his press conference, and was, he wasn't. We were waiting and waiting. Yep. So I called him. Well, he was he was doing his press conference, and the phone the, rang. The phone right bust. On the podium <laughs> during his press conference. <laughs> <laughs> In oh real time, God. that was amazing. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.